Hello other chaps, our Legend Gaming here, and today we are doing an advanced tactics guide and a very short review of the, well, the murderous German tier 4 light tank, the Panzer, Panzerquatha, however you say it, 2 Lukes. Great tank, I re just rebought mine. Um, so, unless you went to the Panzer 2G, you're still at the beginning. Don't get the 5cm guns, because they're not autoloaders, and, well, they're not very good. Well, start by saving XP for this thing, the 3cm flat cannon. It's got nasty penetration, and you can kill KV-1S. KV-1S's. The tracks are another very important thing, because then it makes you very fast and very maneuverable, as well as the engine. You also want to go for the Luke's 5cm turret, because that is a very, very well armored gun mallet on that turret. It has 95mm of average penetration, which is monstrous. It's got 8 shots, well, 10 shells, sorry. It has 10 shells in the mag. Every so every time you pull the trigger, it fires two shells, and you can do about three hundred damage in one burst if all the shots penetrate. The clip reload is horrendous, sixteen seconds with a one hundred percent crew. So when you are reloading, get in cover. I can't stress that enough. Get in cover when you are reloading. The play style: you're very speedy which helps with flanking. Enhanced tracks will make your tracks invincible. This tank is a very effective scout based on speed alone. In fact, you do drift very easily, which is both a pro and a con. So, it's a very small tank. Um, if we compare it to the M24 Chaffee, it's about a foot shorter than the Chaffee on either side. It's not as tall as the Chaffee. I think it's better armed than the Chaffee. It's not as fast as the Chaffee, though. It does have 340 hit points. The Chaffee has 440 in this whole tier higher. So this is 340, which is very good. Very good power to weight ratio. The hull armor is 30 at the front, 20 in the sides, and 20 at the rear. The turret armor is 50 at the front. That's pretty good. 30 at the sides and 30 at the rear. So, yeah. Turret Traverse is 38 degrees per second. The view range with the upgraded radio is, I mean, the signal range, sorry. The degree is 455. I actually don't have that on mine. Um, in, all, all in all, it's a very good little tank. So. For equipment, I don't have any equipment mounted online currently, but you want to mount coated optics. So you can, well, see a little bit farther all around when you're moving or when you're not. Enhanced tracks, which is um, another word for, uh, I forget what it is. Enhanced torsion bars, this right here. So, you know, your tracks will last longer. And then, gun laying drive is also a very good option. It's 500 credits, so it's half a million. So, yeah, it's not very, it's very expensive, but it does work when you're trying to aim. You could also trade that out for a pair of binoculars. Binocular telescope right there. So, so you can outfit this very well. It carries 240 shells. Right, so let's pop into a game. I'm not actually driving at all today because I'm not very good at playing looks. I love it. I'm not just not very good at it. We're going to look at a very, very impressive game in the looks. We'll be right back. 
Right. It is an assault on Corellia. This is Morpheus de Stalkefer. And he plays a blinding game in his Luke's. Fast forwarding a bit. So look at this thing go. Very cute little tank. Top speed of 60, as I said before. Horrendous hitting time. So he's playing with a very, I think, a full, it's a fully upgraded Luke's. He is in a tier 7 maximum gain. There's one tier 7 on your side, but it's primarily tier 5s and 6s. Very accurate. Putting the hurt on that type 64 goes for a full reload. So he's already done about 90 damage. Let's just um, enlarge the map here. So the heavies are lemming training out behind him. There's a Yang Panzer on the other side of the map and a T67 up the top. So he's up here in a very good uh, scout position. It's a very good position for American heavies since they can go hull down very well. And uh, some Russian heavies as well. But for scouts, it's very nice. There's a bush. There's... Ooh. There's a challenger. That is a British tank destroyer. Very nasty. That's the other team's only tier 7. Ah, there's a leopard. So he's doing a very dangerous thing and choosing to engage the leopard. He's got very good trigger discipline though. Puts a couple shots into the leopard, puts a few into the hill though. Does 115 damage to the leopard. There's a, there's a VK3601, or just 30.01 down there. The KV1S, the enemy KV1S has been destroyed and so is the leopard. He puts most of his mag into the challenger and docks one down into the hill in front of him, doing 220 damage to the challenger. So he's reloading in cover, doesn't stop moving, and comes out, puts a couple, still puts a couple shots into the ground, but he manages to get a good few shots off into the VK. So the KV1S on his left, on our team, some 4% health. And now he's dead. Now that challenger is still up there. On 75% health. And the VK30 down there is still on most of his health as well. So here's an, here comes another KVS. KV1S. Without the derp gun. Puts a couple more shots into the VK. Doing 122 damage. Ooh. KV1S gets a good shot off on him there. The VK is now only on 25% health. So he's deciding to flank the VK. Then decides, no, no, no he won't. Goes, does 160 damage to the VK, taking the remaining the remainder of his health. There's Morpheus's first kill. And he put 13 shots into that VK... 30.01 H. Ooh. Big hit there from the challenger. His uh, spotter, I mean, his commander, uh, was damaged. He used his small first aid kit to get him back into action. He's now on half health, approximately. He's on 171 health. The challenger is still waiting out there. Friendly KV1S is is debating whether or not to push. Now, he's poking the ridge line, see if he, seeing if he can spot the challenger. Hmm, where has he gone? So it's to come out a bit more, and there's the sneaky little bugger. Does 89 damage to him. By, it's a very accurate little gun actually. It's fast, maneuverable tank with a very good autoloader. 
it's easy for some people just to, you know, a lot of people will see a video or something, or their friends or something, or they'll see another person on, like, the enemy team, or on their team, doing monstrously good in the leaks, because it's those people, you know, they, you know, practice in their leaks and stuff, and then they'll, those people go, and, you know, they'll go get up to tier 4 in the German tech tree, and get themselves the leaks, you know, fully upgraded, and then think, oh, I'm invincible, and run out. And I've been seeing a lot of that in games, and it's it's really disappointing. I mean, as love as I much as much as I love killing Luke's in my Chaffee, you know, you can't just help feel sorry for the people because, like, yeah. But that's why I make the video. So still poking the ridge line. That challenger is still out there. So he's deciding to push a bit. KV1S is still following him. And there's a the challenger. Ooh, narrowly misses him. He does a little ring approach. So the challenger is focusing on the KV1S. He has killed the KV1S. And now he is waiting for the challenger to come on out. Oh, he, his gun was pointing the wrong way. And the challenger is still behind that rock. So he's going right up to the rock. Ooh, narrowly evaded the challenger there. Comes out behind him. Gets around him. He put a few shots into him, did a little bit of damage. Now he's the only one against six enemies. Now the challenger hit him, so now he's on 23 health, but the challenger is dead. That's the second kill. So it's just him versus five enemies. There's a call of Banoff's medal. And he, he did spot that, and he also did put 25 shots into him, and did 741 damage to him. And the uh, very nice KV-1S driver who support who was supporting him up on the hill is being very nice in chat, as in random, him, giving him some good support. And it is an assault map. And they are capping his base. And it looks like there's only one of them in there. There's the Hummel. The Hummel misses. He's getting right into the Hummel and circle strafing him. One clip, maximum damage, kills the Hummel. There's his third kill. So, the, so there, the friendly ba his base is being captured, and that's at 36. So he still has a little while to get back to his base, and we're set the cap. Or, if he can last out another minute 45, he can win. Now, this is some very excellent playing of a Luke's. Now, you can do this with pretty much every light tank, but you want to go where the enemy least is suspecting. Take rocky crags and stuff, you know, hide in bushes, see if you can spot your enemy. Dodge from cover to cover. Or, do what Morpheus is doing. This doesn't work all the time, but there's the tog. Very thin armor on the tog. There, he's done it. It takes more than a minute to cap, I think. It's like a minute ten or something. And there's only 58 seconds left. So if you can hit the tog one more time, and he can stay alive for the rest of the game, He's won. So, the Tog does know he's here, and he's waiting for him. Now, I, I can see what that Tog driver's probably thinking. Oh, it's just the Luke's on 23 health. We can kill him. There's three heavies and a tank destroyer on our team. So he's left the cap circle. Big mistake. You probably would have been safer in the cap circle. But he decided to go and chase after the little light tank. 
There, Morpheus has gotten to cover. We still don't know where the rest of the enemy team is. So he's done a very clever little thing, gone behind the cover, and there's the Egg Panzer. And there you go. He's won. So here are the results of his game. A very good game in the leaks, and you know, he's made a brain his profit. In all, he did 1,676 damage, earning himself 1,159 base experience. He got an ace tanker edge for that, fire for effect, the Kalibanoffs medal, and defender. His original credits that he made off that base game were just 23,148. And he still made 14,495, which is very, very good. And he just lasted him out. He fired 124 shots. 73 were direct hits, and 57 penetrated. Now, this is a very impressive game, and I hope you can, will take a look, watch it again, see, take a look at his tactics, see what he did. Because in light tanks, especially with Luke's, you have to be always thinking and don't stop moving. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps. If you have any more ideas or if you want to see a collection of Luke's replays, you could send some in. You could uh, tell me in the comments. Or you can just like the video, subscribe, and I will see all of you dudes later. Goodbye.